Hey there folks, I'm Eric Osberg with the Outdoor Report and I'm here at Smoky Hills Outdoor Store up by Park Rapids, Minnesota talking with Hendry Ernst and yep. we've, we've been blessed with some super <laughs> cold weather, right? So everybody's starting to talk about, every, we're right in the middle of deer hunting, but everybody's starting to talk about ice fishing. It ice depends fishing. on who you ask, okay. if we're blessed with cold weather <laughs> yeah, right. or if it's a curse. Yeah, right. But right. Uh, I, I, I really appreciate you coming out and... Uh, Maybe look at a couple of products, huh? Not a problem. There's a, one of the coolest, one of the things that I love about fishing is just all the innovation that happens, right? Like people are always, and a lot of it happens right here, right? Guys right. and gals are sitting there fishing. They come up with an idea. Hey, what if we did this? Why wouldn't that be, you know, how would we make that a little bit better? So, so we're going to talk about some of the, the products that you have available at goicefish.com. That's right? right. So we started goicefish.com. It launched in uh, February. Of last year and it's quickly grown to become one of the largest ice fishing uh, retailers online so what we really wanted to do is we wanted to specialize in products that you don't see every day right so uh, one of the things that I've always liked to do is we like to go to the, the, the smaller group of guys you know a couple of guys sitting around having some uh, some cocktails and saying boy you know I would really like it if somebody made the product right and uh, those guys then kind of develop it, and you know, it's, it's him and his wife and his friends, and it's in the garage. And a lot of the products that you see here, it was developed that way. Right. And uh, that's really one of the cool things to see about ice fishing. So we try to not just have the standard stuff, we have a lot of items online, but instead of having every single jig and every single fishing rod that everybody has, which you want to go and see, we have things that's a little bit harder to find, but we've used ourselves, we've put in fish houses and we know that they work well. And so speaking of fish houses, if you're if you're using a fish house to try to catch fish, you're probably using rattle rigs, right? Absolutely. I gotta say the largest walleyes I've ever caught was me taking a nap <laughs> on a rattle reel. Right. It wasn't any special jigging technique or right. it, it just that's that's how it happened. So. so so what are some different types of rattle reels? What I mean you've got these have been super hot, right. great sellers. What what makes these so special? So one of the things that we wanted to do is we wanted to make sure that we have pretty much every rattle reel that's on the market. Uh, we wanted to have everybody not everything works for everybody. And you have a choice. Now, one of the very popular ones we've used over the years is the Rattlesnake, made by a very famous company, Catch Cover. Uh, made in USA, great product. Uh, Catch Cover Rattlesnake, what makes this one a little different than most is, is it's flexible. So what you can do is you can adjust this to fit it right over the hole. It's been one of our best sellers over the years. It's been a great rattle reel. Nice adjustment there. And it has these pucks, so you can interchange them with either a rod holder or a cup holder, all kinds of, or a GoPro mount. Yeah, yep. And we have all of Catch Cover's products on GoIceFish.com. That's from the, the holes to the rattle reels to the slush pockets, you name it, we have all the products online. It's been a very popular product. Yeah. So uh, it makes a lot of noise too. Right, <laughs> which will wake you up from that nap, right? Absolutely. So, catch what's, yeah, go ahead. What's, a, what's a different style then? Okay, so what, what these guys wanted to do, you know what, I'm gonna take one out of the package here so you can see this. Okay. So Ultimate Outdoors, um, a lot of customers have been asking for a premium rattle reel. Not premium meaning something that's maybe aluminum or anodized. And these guys came up with it. Now, once again, made in Minnesota, a uh, Minnesota-based company. And what these guys did is, is they made an anodized aluminum spool with a stainless steel shaft. And then they have these little brackets that okay. you can take this out. So if you're not using your rattle reels, like a lot of the other ones, small, nice, unobtrusive, and you just pull that out. And when you're using it, stick it right back in. The one thing I really do like about this is the fact that the tension adjustment on these are really, really good. They're not just a nut that could fall off. I right. do like the fact that like, right there we're tight. And I'm going to spin this for you. You wow. see how nice and fine wow. the adjustment is. It's so. like, a, it's like a, a reel. Yep. It's like a, a fishing reel on your... I Yeah, I, it definitely works more like a fishing reel. Um, I do like these a lot. They're smaller. Yep. They're not quite as loud and in your face. And one of the cool things about them is the colors. Sure. Uh, we currently have, boy, now I'm going to be wrong, but I'm going to say seven or eight colors 
in these. The greens just came out. Uh, you can tell we have these beautiful, especially with Veterans Day, we have these beautiful flag designs. Sure. Um, camo, uh, one of the things that we have is, is we have the Super Flodge Camo, which is exclusive to GoEyesFish.com in this, and that'll match the camo that's in Ice Caps. <laughs> Perfect. It's like you thought it through, right? Well, maybe, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's something it matches, so. And then this, and then, when, so when you're not using, so when you're not using this as a rattle reel, right. you've got another option here, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Rod holder. So they do make a rod holder and a cup holder, and I do like these rod holders, and I'll tell you why, Eric, because I want you to feel the coating on that. Wow. It's kind of like a, like a rubber almost. Right, right. So if I wanted to go from rattle reel to, to rod fishing, this would obviously be mounted somewhere, yep. and then I could just interchange the right. two, and, and we're good to go, right. right? Yeah, absolutely. And if you look inside, you'll see it's just it's coated as well, so it won't scratch up any of your stuff. And you just interchange it, whether it's this or a cup holder. Right. You just swap them around. We also sell these brackets. By themselves. Have, I've been in some fish houses where where I've seen, and I don't know if it was these rattle reels, but I've seen some folks mount their rattle reels up high. Up high. Yes. Have you, it, do you recommend that? Does that work with these? Is there a different it's rattle a reel? Yeah. It, it's a good question. There are different rattle reels that we sell, uh, especially in the wood ones, that would be a little bit better because they have short shaft on them. Okay. So uh, some people do like them up high because it's easier to grab the line. You don't have to go down there. These would work. I would say that the shafts are a little bit on the longer side, but if you were to mount them up top, remember you can always swing them towards yeah. the sides. And so you can maybe mount them ver on, on the on the wall right. up, up high, right. and then and then there you go. Right. Um, so there's some other there's some other yeah. types of rattle wheels we've got. Here's old faithful. This is old faithful. This is old faithful. I'm going to clear these off. Yeah. And I'm going to go with old faithful here. Um, this is. Uh, Fish Hole Buddy made this rattle reel from Ice Products. This has probably been, if I think of a rattle reel, if I'm not thinking of the wood one, this is probably what I'm thinking of. This is a glow-in-the-dark rattle reel. It's nice and noisy with the beads in it. And uh, it's been around a long time. I've caught a lot of fish on this. It's also not a very expensive rattle reel, but it does work. Now, if you want something that's nice and bright, you can see it at night. This definitely does glow. And it does a good job. You also have some interchangeable things like rod holders and sure. things like that. Um, you can't talk ice fishing without talking about one of these. They right. changed their packaging a little bit this year, but it's still the same product. Uh, it's been around a long time. Gotcha. And what do we have here? Okay. So, you know, there's a lot of different types of uh, corded alarms for your either your uh, rod sitting in a rod holder or in a um, rattle reel. And I have to say, um, so far, this is my favorite. Okay. Uh, it's very simple. What's it's, it called? What's it called? It's called Line Alarm. Um, so Line Alarm, many you say, it's a basically a little box that you can add to anything. And I'll show you how easy this works, actually. Um, so now, of course, I don't have batteries in it, but it comes with these little brackets. So you mount the bracket. Yep. We do sell these separate as well. You slide the alarm, Line Alarm in there. Obviously, it's got like some batteries in the back. Yep. And then you have this little guy right here, which is a contact point. And all you do is you put the line in between the contact point and the little arm. And as soon as the line pulls out, makes contact, it's going to blink and buzz at you. And you would use this with a rattle reel as well? You would use this with a rattle reel. Works great with a rattle reel. Works great if you have a rod, just yep. sitting in a rod holder. Yep. Some guys, portable fishing, you know, they even use them, mount them by the, the portables. I've been pretty happy with this product. And once again, it's twenty four ninety nine. It's a nice little compact product. It's waterproof. It's 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 a very cool product. If you're going to use something that's not as loud as right. the other rattle reels, like uh, like the Ultimate Outdoors, they're a little bit uh, quieter. Right. Good add on gotcha. right here. I would definitely uh, say check out Line Alarm. They've done a good job. And I, and I, if I want to be able to see what I'm doing when I'm when I'm catching the wall, <laughs> I have my lifetime off of a rattle reel. Tell, tell us about the lighting you got here. I, I can't even begin to tell you how many LED strips um, we've gone through. Uh, you know, there's a couple of different companies that make these, and there's, there's quite a few different ones out there. Um, I do like this one better. Um, it seems to be almost durable, um, and it also has two options if you want to use this. Now, let me pull this out here. We're going to make a mess, but why not, right? Right. 
So the first thing you get in there is the actual strip itself. And you can see it's going to have a sticky back. Now, that that back on there is not going to hold up to Minnesota weather or North Dakota weather. So you do want to add a little bit of glue if you're going to put it outside of the house. Gotcha. But first you have that. You can add up to two of these strips on one uh, connection. I wouldn't recommend more than two because they're going to start fading. Gotcha. So here's your strip. You obviously have the remote control, which these remote controls will work on any of the boxes. So you only need one remote control. Gotcha. And then here's the little brain box that we have. And that's going to be the eye, the sensor, to do it. Yep. That plugs in there. And then here's the big difference between a lot of these units that you see. This unit does come with a 110 plug-in as well. So you see I can run this unit on 110. Or if I don't want to run this on 110, I can use this piece of wire cut it right there and go straight into 12. Gotcha. So you have that option. This goes through different kinds of colors. It's very bright. It looks cool. And if you're out on the ice and you want to have a party, you got to have one of these. You can set the mood. Right? <laughs> set, set the mood. <laughs> go into the more uh, sexy yeah, colors right. down there, you right. know. Right. But uh, absolutely right. Um, LED light strip, super easy to install. If you just want to plug it into the wall, you can do that. If you want to go through the trouble of installing it and hiding the little box, we've done that. We'll hide them like behind a light or something sure. so you don't see these boxes, but always keep that little eye exposed. And that's so the eye for the... For, for the same thing. For, for the yep. 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 yep, yep, so you can you can change the colors. Been very happy with this product. Uh, if, if I was going to do one thing, there's lots of different places. Underneath the countertops, you know, the yep. countertop has yep. a bit of a lip shining down. Yep. It looks beautiful. Uh, behind the electric lift bed in the corner, so it shines down. Or on the outside, right, you know, by the drip line. Right. If you want everybody to know where you are. Right. We, we used to always joke, we, we turn them on to blink every time the wild would score a goal. <laughs> you know, on the ice, right. uh, it's blinking green, it's blinking green, okay, the wild scored a goal. So that's, that's pretty cool. Oh, and then, it, um, I do want to see that one. Go ahead. Oh, this rattler right here. Yes. Yep. So this is new, is it not? Brand new. Okay. Um, and this is maybe the perfect combination between right. rattle reel and lights. Absolutely. So Northern Lights rattle reels, uh, these guys launched the prototype last winter. And this year they finally uh, really got down to it and, and figured out what they needed to do. And it's an excellent product. Uh, they really thought this through. Uh, they did a lot of good things. And I'm going to unbox one here for you guys. This is the first time we've done a video on it now. If you walked into our storage warehouse, you're going to see a lot of these. <laughs> There's a lot of boxes, and they come in three different colors uh, right now. A little bit of instructions there. We've got, let's pull this guy apart so we can see what we got. Let's put that there. There's the actual unit with a bracket. And then in here somewhere, if I can find it, we've got some power. Packaged up pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. So, that's what we have. Now, how this works is, as you can see, once again, just a simple mounting bracket right there, screws right into the wall, and if you're not using it, you're just going to have this hook on the wall, which right. makes it nice. You know, a lot of people are using their fish houses for camping. What this has is it has a plug-in right there, which is going to be a 12 volt right there. And then this little box, which you can use in two ways. So if you want to use batteries, this can use batteries, which okay. is LEDs, you know, it's going to run a long time on that. Right. Or you can unplug this and go with these guys and hardwire it. Gotcha. So that's what most of our customers are doing. You know, a lot of people have lights by the holes, the whole light. Right, right. So what you would do is, is you would just run this right into the whole light and wire it behind the whole light. And so is that strike activated or is it always on? No, it's a good question. So this guy has got this little piece right here. Let me show you. What it really is, is it's a magnet. You can see they're sticking together. Yep. Right there. You see how that snaps back yep. together? If that magnet is in line with this metal piece, it's off. Gotcha. So it's going to be off. The second this pulls, the fish is going to pull it, it's going to turn on. Turn on. And if I'm saying bright, I mean bright. Right. I think we can 
you know what? I'm, I was going to see maybe we'll do something where we can light them up. We have one in the store, and I have to turn it off because it's like, right. wow. Well, <laughs> they come in three colors. Now, the cool thing is these lights are actually UV lights. Okay. They're not different colored lights. It's the plastic that's going to make them different. Sure. You know those boards that you see that people write the menu on and yep. they're kind of shiny? Very similar concept. So they have these with an the orange, uh, acrylic, uh, a blue, and a green. Okay. So very, very cool product. Very bright. Very noisy. Um, and you know there's a fish. One, one idea, and maybe this would help and maybe it wouldn't, but if, if I had a hole up towards the front of the house, right. maybe that's my green one. Right? Yeah. If I've got a hole in the middle of the house, that's my orange one, and I've got a hole in the back of the house, that's my blue one. Yep. So when I see that light, sure. you know which I know where I'm going instead of like, which one is it, which one is it, which one is it. I kind of like the concept of having different colors, especially if you're going to have kids. Yeah. Because then you can say, okay, you got the blue you one, got you got the <laughs> orange one, you got the green one. <laughs> Hopefully, right? And everybody's waiting for the color. So right. very cool. Um, uh, I know these guys are going to be at the um, St. Paul Ice Show as well. As uh, GoIceFish.com is going to be at the St. Paul Ice Show as well. And we're going to definitely um, sell a lot of these, or they're going to sell a lot of these. And you can get these online right now. We stocked up. It's going to be a good product, Eric. I, I really like this. Um, do we do we have time for one more, or are we out of time? What, why don't we? Why don't we? We got one more. Let's do the top. Okay. Okay. Let's so some so sometimes you know you got your rattle reel set up inside the house. You want to cover a little bit more ground. You like to have a tip up outside the house. Plus, it gives you something to look out the window and, and see it. But, but maybe you don't want to have to look out the window. And that brings us to this, correct? Right. So we've got a really, really cool firehouse tip-up stuff. Anybody's been to a show, the guy from firehouse tip-ups, I, I, I have a lot of respect for him. He came up with a good product. And not only did he come up with a good product, he also actually made it work. Right. So he came up with this guy. And um, we've had a lot of success with this. Uh, it's a very, very heavy duty, uh, very well made product. So you're not talking flimsy yet at all. So let's open this up. You can see the material that this is made from. Yep. That's like um, fire hose material. Right. Yeah, I think that's where the fire hose comes from. Per too, perhaps, perhaps. And uh, then how this works is, you can see it's got this pull down here, nice brass hardware on it. Yep. Heavy duty, it's got a flap that you can lift up so you can get in there. And this gets set up. And if anybody is an EMT, they'll probably recognize these. These are the pucks that they use that they put on the roads instead of flares. Sure. And this has got a bunch of different modes. So you can see I've got the spinning, I've got the strobe. I've got like a slow strobe, I've got that guy, and then there's a always on, and it's kind of a cool one, you had a dumb, you see there's a directional as well, Sure. so if you have it set up, it's only going to shine. Right, you don't want to let those so guys over there know <laughs> that the <laughs> fish is over here. Right. And then a little LED light, so how this works is, you're going to set this up, and on the inside, as soon as it trips up, off of this guy right here. You set it up just like a regular tip yep. up. It's a little hard to do with a camera. You have yep. guys upside down. But you set it up just like a regular tip up and as soon as that goes, light goes on. Awesome. Very cool. And you've also got the right line to be using for tip ups or, oh, or rattle reels. Now, right? now we're gonna get into a big argument because <laughs> and that's and that's right that's right. I like Suffolk fifty pound tip up and then these guys like Greg. Greg knows. He argues fly line. So, right. you know, everybody's got their favorite. But the one thing I will say is, is that I do not like to put mono on there. It's got memory. It's, it gets tangled. I've always had very good luck with either a coated braid, a fly line, or a, bait, or a Dacron, for that matter, if you want to go that way. This just, if you feel that one, that's not going to burn your hands if it does right. take off on you, right. you know, when you're catching those 45, you know, 50 inch and all. Right, so, right, right, right. Um, so I do like Suffix step up. It's an expense. It's like nine bucks, and I usually can get. Uh, let's see, this is 50 yards, so I can probably split it. I mean, right. 25 yards is plenty. So cool. Let's all right, we got one last one right here. So same guy that makes the um, firehouse uh, light up step up. This is just his nice little self-contained. You see how small this folds up? Yep. Nice and easy. You can put a bunch of them in a bucket upright like this. Absolutely. And all you do is you just open it up like so. This stays right in there. It's got a nice silicone flag on it. And once you extend it, your flag is going to go right up top in here. And you've got your top up right there. 
There you go. Very cool tip up. I, I do like the fact that they're small and you don't have those big round discs. Um, tip up management can be an issue, right? You get that bucket, the, the lines right. get all tangled. I mean, there's a lot of innovative solutions sure. to that. But to have it self-contained, self that might be worth it in and of itself. I, I do like the, you know, one thing about top-ups that I absolutely love is you never know what's on there. Right, right. So it's kind of like, okay, something went off, what is going on? Yeah. And uh, That run over to the tip-up is, is one of the one of the more enjoyable times to run. So, so if you're sitting in your deer stand or wherever you're sitting, we hope that you've learned something about the products that they have available. GoIceFish.com. And one of the things that I think is super cool about GoIceFish.com is you have free shipping for orders over... 49 bucks. Over 49 bucks. Absolutely. So you, you order a couple rattle reels, you get some line, you get some some whatever it is right. that you're, you're buying, some lights. Right. Zero shipping. I know this video is going to be expensive for me already. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, think, I'm thinking the stuff that I need to buy. <laughs> Getting ready. <laughs> All right. Well, if you have any questions, make sure to reach out to Hendry or his crew. They always have the best answers available for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Eric.